Okay, this is the Bossa Nova by Carlos Antonio Jobim. Very famous song. Um, I'm reminded to play this this time of year. My my wife is just returning from the tropics and she is tall, tan, and beautiful. And so I thought it would be a good time to pull this one out. I'm going to teach it to you in just three minutes. Um, it has a few um, difficult chord positions, but it's um, within everyone's grasp. So the basic idea here is, if you think of an A minor chord, and you play it with your other three fingers instead of the typical three, and then move your ring finger down, and then use your first finger on E1, you have this nice jazz phrasing. And then the little finger can be used on the melody, on the high E string, on the G. So it's going to go back and forth between the 3rd fret E string and the 3rd fret B string. So this bossa beat is just a... Just practice that. So I'm playing the bass and the top three strings all at once. And the bass. Another pluck of the three strings. same pattern will be used in the second chord position which is a bar chord on the third fret. Um, the ring finger is on B string 5, the middle finger is on G string 4, and you'll play the high, high string of the bar. So the melody is being played by the ring finger now. So from the beginning, okay, now we're going to go into third fret, middle finger on the G, on the E string, I'm so sorry, ring finger, third fret G string. Little finger, third fret, B string. And this one is going to play melody. It's going to go to the E1. And then it's going to go to where the open string is on the D. So it's going to go to D2. And then it goes to the B1. So this chord is first finger on B1, middle finger on E2, ring finger on D2, and little finger on G3. So we're going from back to the original chord. So this is a nice bossa beat to practice also, just
finger is just doing alternating duty on the D string. And then the phrase, the first phrase repeats. Part two of the song has some symmetry to it, so it's easy to remember. The first chord's the hardest. Um, basically, it's middle finger on the G on E on E three, ring finger on G three, little finger on B four. So this is like a D chord moved up to the third fret. And then this is the stretch for the um, E1. So it's into a B7 shape. So it's middle finger A2, first finger. D1, ring finger, G2, little finger, B2. So we're coming from move the middle finger to the bass, slide the little finger up to the fourth fret. So it's Go to the bass and move up to the 4th fret on the B string. So that looks like this. Bar 2 with the little finger on the E4. That same position that you had in the, in the lower on the 4th fret. Same idea. Bar three. Now you're on the fifth fret. Then you go into this nice melody line. So let's go through it from the beginning. Bar five, bar four, with the middle finger on G five, bar three, bar two. So that whole thing again. Back to the the final time through the song. So that.
that's just the basic position. Play the C with the little finger. Slide it all up. Just um, E1 and B1. This could be played harmonically. So, if you learn this song and play it along with other people who, uh, who, who can sing it and know it, they'll be quite astounded at the fact that you've included the chord melody on top of the, um, on top of the chord structure of the song. Um, and it's very fun to play. It's worth going for. That's all. Enjoy. Enjoy.